We could. Well, base player, well, I don't even know about that. Let's just say, firstly, Reading and Leeds fans are obviously gutted not yeah. to, to see you. You must go and be gutted as well. Absolutely. It, it, it's, it's devastating. Yeah, I mean, but it, it, we, we, couldn't, we, couldn't, we couldn't risk having any more damage done to Joey to, um, and do those shows. So, I mean, it, it's, it's better for the long run so we can actually come back out. I mean, we're just, yeah. in, in, we're in just the, starting this tour. Our album's not even out yet. Yeah. So, so, if he's not able to get good right now and get well, then... You know, we could risk, you know, future touring, and we don't want to do that. Yeah, exactly. We plan on doing a long so we figure, you know, tour cycle with this, and we need to be 100% for every show. Take a couple yeah. of weeks, have a couple of years, basically. I mean, yeah. it's just that simple. How important is Reading and Leeds to you and the whole festival season? Because it's a huge thing over here. Yeah. It was the one thing we were looking forward yeah. to. Yeah. So looking forward yeah. to it. I mean, we haven't been there in six years, and yeah. It, 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 it guts us, obviously. I mean, we were looking forward to having really good times. We were going to stick around and watch a lot of the other bands. And, you know, but, I mean, at least we're here, you know, trying to you know, set the record straight and whatnot. And, uh, you know, we just hope Joey makes a speedy recovery. Message to your fans, we'll go on BBC News worldwide, etc. If you want to, you know, I know you've had to cancel a lot of games. We are planning to come, yeah. honestly. Yeah. That is, we'll it is on the books yeah. that we are coming to play, I swear to God. November. Back in November, isn't November, it? November, yeah. yeah. November, we'll be here. And, uh, yeah. And we'll, 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 we'll definitely make up for the shows that we missed. Hey, I heard your latest record on mainstream Radio 1 in the afternoon the other day. We've <laughs> <laughs> got 30 seconds here now. I can I can secure so I can secure a mattress to the top of a, a car. I'm, I promise you that. And that's pretty it. impressive stuff, right? I don't there. know about that, but I, it impresses me. Let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Now I hear this is the preview of your new max. Yes. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about that. Um, I just wanted to make children uncomfortable, and so far they've just thought it was really cool. I scare more adults than I do children, which is pretty funny. Until I open my mouth, obviously, and then it's like, oh look, Benny Hill, sweet, awesome, good. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I just, uh, all the masks evolve with every album, and this for me was a, a, just a great way to do something that was very simple and yet kind of unsettling and startling, so. Yeah. Now, what tips do you have for living a rock and roll lifestyle? Sure, like veterans. I don't mean to brag or anything, but uh, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Um, tips for living a rock and roll lifestyle, don't break your ankle. How about that, you know? And if you're a DJ, don't break both feet, you know? We had two dudes in wheelchairs the last day of the tour. And I was just looking around going, what are we doing? Good Lord, this is stupid. So if you're going to party, don't twist your ankle. And if you're going to, you know, just have somebody carry you around. You know, that's why I have Jeff. You know, he's a big Jeff, he's over there. He carries me around. There. Just film What's happened a bit already? You must be gutted. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a horrible thing. We really, we really we hate Catholic shows. But, you know... Uh, <laughs> you hate casting shows? Um, yeah, but I mean, it's like a... You know, we, we, we did those last few shows. Um, Joey was playing on what we thought was a sprained angle, which uh, turned out to be a broken angle, which did a little bit more damage. Uh, and we had to just we just had to cancel. You know, it's like it's canceling a, a few shows so we can actually get back here. Yeah, I mean, you know, and do our four full tour. We're I just, mean, it was just something we had to do. Yeah, we're just starting this album cycle, and if he's not to get better soon, then it could you know create more problems later. So. You know, as much as it sucks and as pissed off as we are about having to cancel, uh, you know, we need our bro to get better you know, yeah. so that we can move on. Couldn't you Actually, live with you top know, drums and live with, without having the big, you know, I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, the, it's the soul of the music, you know, it's the yeah. heartbeat. So, yeah. uh, so, so, I mean, Sid, there was a, a, an injury to his ankle. Sid's yeah, got broken ankles, too. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Is he on the mend? Yeah, he needs to actually go see a proper doctor too, because he's just wobbling around on the stuff, thinking that he's fine, and he's probably doing more damage anyways. Luckily, he doesn't use his feet to DJ, so 
Uh, so somebody the in the van broke a mirror or something. Why all the injuries? A, a mirror? What? Somebody broke a mirror. Why all the injuries? I, you know, I don't know. I, I, I probably something. I don't know. Actually, just stupid people not watching where they're going or playing around, wrestling around with like. 16 year old. You know, how, did, I don't know. how did Joey do it then? I mean, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I wasn't around him when he did it. So, and yeah. I think that a lot of it's nervous excitement. I mean, we haven't toured, we haven't played together for what, almost three years now. Yeah. And we got out there in this tour that we're doing, you know, that we just finished up was going so well. And everything was going great. And we were getting along so well. And I mean, the shows were on fire that just that excited energy probably just got the best of us. And we just thought, you know, hey, we're invincible. So. You know, we can do whatever the hell we want and fuck the consequences. And, of course, that came back and bit some of us in the ass. Yeah. You'll be back in December. You're going to be coming back with Machine. They've got you two nights at Hammers. I mean, that's pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. Definitely. Not wait. So who, who, who chooses the mask then? Do you actually regret it having decided the next mask? You go, this is bloody hot. <laughs> you know, they, they, yeah, from day one, they were bloody hot. And uh, I don't know why why we decided to yeah good idea it. it was it was a real <laughs> smart one when we were thinking about it but uh you know yeah it's when you, it kind of sucks when you, now, start but... as, when you start out and you start doing all this stuff you're not thinking about walking down a red carpet talking to a bunch of people either <laughs> exactly. you're not thinking about doing photo shoots you're not thinking about press or in stores or any of that you're just like oh we're going to be on stage for an hour wearing masks but do you don't even think about that, that. Insta- you know we don't even think about being on stage in masks for an hour, like say in Phoenix, where it's 130 degrees, yeah, and yeah, right. whatever, and you're dying of heat stroke. So I don't know. All in all, it might not have been the smartest idea, but <laughs> it, it worked for us, you know. You've got everything in between and a couple of songs outside of that. Uh, yeah. So I mean, without you know being completely vague about it, you know, it's what you kind of expect. <laughs> where, where would you say it slots in with the other, you know, the other albums? Um, I would say sonically, it's probably one of our best albums. I would say, um, in some ways, we've taken a step backwards to take a huge step forwards. Um, you know, so it's got elements of subliminal. It's got elements of Iowa, and it's, it's got, got yeah, it's got know. elements of the past, the past records too. But it's, it's definitely a step forward of of everything. It's um, you know, it's a, it's us older, mature, um, and 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 you know, the writing on it, I think it's amazing, and I think it actually came out better than any record we've done so was it a quick process to record this one pretty quick yeah, yeah actually quicker than than uh, most uh, i mean like well this time we did it in iowa so it, you know i mean it wasn't like going out to los angeles having all those people in in your ear and everything we were we were at home you know so we kind of got to you know by the time we actually started uh like uh rehearsing to recording it was only a matter of maybe six months Yeah. Oh, I was talking, yeah. It's somewhere.